Hello students, welcome to the session. Today we are going to discuss about Neymar reactions. So before going for the session, I just want to say the importance of the Neymar reactions, the total organic chemistry, the Neymar reactions plays a crucial role in conversions and kind of based reasoning based questions and also boards examination. Especially for the neat examination, Neymar reaction carries a very important, you are going to get one question from based on the Neymar reaction. And we can see the before going for the session, let us talk about the score examination. It is India's largest scholarship examination which provides you 1 crore rupees scholarship. That is why we say it is in a India's largest scholarship examination. So, you may be related to infinity lane or may not be related to infinity lane. You are still eligible to write this and you can grab all the opportunities like 1 crore scholarship and study setup along with laptop and also educational allowances the up to 100 percent scholarships are available and why late in the description box the link is available you can get this score link and you just write these examinations purely online and you can sit at your home and you can write the examination and one more diwali gift for you neat 2025 all india test series pack and it is 27 AITS examinations and 20 full syllabus mock test, 25 topic wise PYQs and 3 PCP books and along with video solutions on the app and performance reports and benchmarking of your performance assessments along with Sri Chaitanya students and your the test is uh, the package is 5,999 rupees and on Diwali gift Infinity Lane is offering 50% slash on this package. Once you apply YouTube 50 of the coupon code, once you apply, you are going to get for 2,999 Violet and this package is available in the description box. You just click it and you can avail this beautiful offer. And before going for this, we start the name of reactions in the organic chemistry total from the hydrocarbons to amines you have so many name reactions based on the name reactions you are going to get the first and so many questions on the neat examination let's talk about the first reaction finkelstein reaction this finkelstein reaction is one of the halogen exchange reaction when alkyl halide is treated with nax in the presence of acetone the halogen is substituted by another halogen here the x is going to be f c l b or whatever it could be similarly n a i so you are going to get the uh, alkyl iodide you can see r c l when it is treated with sodium iodide in the presence of acetone it follows substitution nucleophilic bimolecular reaction chlorine is substituted with iodine plus n a c l is formed what is the role of acetone over here? Sodium chloride is insoluble in acetone, it is being ionic. So, this is one halogen substitution reaction and exchange reaction. Next one is a Schwartz reaction. This is also halogen exchange reaction. When alkyl chloride is treated with fluorinating agent like Sb, F5 and Sb, F3 are going to get alkyl fluoride. Like you can see, alkyl chloride, it is treated with AGF, you can also say. Your chlorine is exchanged with fluorine and AGCl is going to be formed. So, this reaction is a Schwartz reaction and moving ahead, aldol condensation. When aldehyde having alpha hydrogen, when it is treated with an alkali, it is going to condense to form an aldol and this aldol on heating it is going to give this butenol and this reaction what you call it as aldol condensation simple aldol condensation you can take the ch3 cho and on treatment with sodium hydroxide you are going to have ch3 ch double bond ch and cho is formed so, like that you have self aldol condensation and crossed aldol condensation. The aldol condensation between two similar aldehydes is called self aldol condensation. The aldol condensation between two different aldehydes is called as crossed aldol condensation. Moving ahead, 
Bald Schumann reaction. In this Bald Schumann reaction, you are going to get the fluorobenzene. When aniline is treated with uh, NaNO2, you are going to get you, you are going to get benzene diazonium chloride. When it is treated with HBF4, you are going to get benzene diazonium borofluoride. When it is simply heated, you are going to get fluorobenzene. This is the one of the best method for preparation of the fluorobenzene from benzene diazonium chloride and this reaction is known as balge schumann reaction. So, this is the way all the reactions from the NCRT you can just by forget into the NEET examination so that you can simply squeeze the marks from the NEET. And one more carbyl amine reaction. Carbyl amine reaction can be given by any primary aromatic amine or primary aliphatic amine. When it is treated with chloroform in the presence of an alkali, you are going to get a isocyanides. They are also called as carbyl amines. These carbyl amines has a um, unpleasant smell. So, appearance of this unpleasant smell is a test for isocyanide. This can be given from the alkyl primary amines or aryl primary amines. This is a very important reaction. One more reaction is Kanizer reaction just like aldol condensation reaction. Aldol condensation reaction aldehydes having alpha hydrogens participate. If aldehyde without alpha hydrogen when it is treated with the alkali it undergo self oxidation and reduction and it gives a disproportionate product like an aldehyde benzaldehyde when it is treated with alkali you are going to get benzoate sodium benzoate and um, benzyl alcohol. So, it is a self oxidation and reduction reaction. The characteristic uh, difference between aldol condensation and Kanizer reaction is aldol condensation is given by the aldehydes with alpha hydrogens and Kanizer reaction is given by the aldehydes without alpha hydrogens. And Clemenson reduction, the carbonyl group is reduced to alkane that reaction is known as Clemens reduction. This can be done by using zinc, HCl zinc and amal, mercury amalgam and in the presence of HCl this is going to be the Clemens reduction. And contrast to that we have wolf kishner reduction I am going to present you that. So, name to name and point to point you need to know about these name reactions and in this eta reaction. Toline is directly oxidized to benzaldehyde when it is treated with chromyl chloride. So, toline treated with this is your CrO2 Cl2 is a chromyl chloride. You are going to get a chromium complex. This chromium complex is further hydrolyzed to give rise benzaldehyde. This is one of the best way to convert the toline to benzaldehyde and this is an oxidation reaction. It is an etard reaction. Moving forward, Friedel-Craft alkylation, it is a super electrophilic substitution reaction of the benzene. When benzene is treated with alkyl chloride in the presence of a Lewis acid, you are going to get alkyl benzene and when this is what you call Friedel-Craft alkylation, when benzene is treated with acyl chloride in the presence of kind of any Lewis acid, you are going to get acetyl benzene. So, this is what you call it as a friedel craft acylation. The major difference between the friedel craft alkylation and acylation is going to be in the friedel craft alkylation polyalkylation may take place and the friedel craft acylation polyacylation do not take place because this C double bond O group is going to be ring deactivating group. Moving forward children here Gabriel thalamate synthesis this Gabriel thalamate synthesis is very important for the preparation of primary amines and you can see thalamide the hydrogen present on the thalamide is acidic so that it reacts with the potassium hydroxide to give rise potassium thalamide and this potassium thalamide is a very good nucleophile is going to react with alkyl halide to give rise alkylated N alkyl thalamide. This N alkyl thalamide further hydrolyzes to give rise primary amine and it is going to give rise sodium thalate. And uh, aromatic primary amines aniline cannot be prepared by this method.
Why? Because chlorobenzene do not participate in S and two reaction. That's a reasoning question important for NEET examination. Statement one, statement two, assertion, reasoning type questions are important. So primary aromatic amines cannot be prepared. Only primary alkyl amines can be prepared, and this reaction is going to be S N two attack. That's a very important reasoning point and a catch point for this Gabriel thalamate synthesis. And moving ahead, Gatterman reaction. In the Gatterman reaction, benzene diazonium chloride is treated with copper and HCl. You are going to get chlorobenzene. Just contrast to that, it is Sandmeyer reaction. In the Sandmeyer reaction, cuprous chloride is used. Here, the copper and HCl is used. And the Gatterman Koch reaction, the name is contrast to that, but it is completely different. It is Gatterman Koch reaction. Benzene is treated with the CO and HCl in the presence of a Lewis acid. You are going to get benzaldehyde. This reaction is called as Gatterman Koch reaction. And Reimer Timmer reaction, when this is one of the important reaction for the phenols, when the phenol is treated with chloroform in alkali followed by the hydrolysis you are going to get a salicyl aldehyde and ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde is going to be formed this reaction is called as reimer timmen reaction and what is the attacking reagent in this attacking reagent is dichlorocarbene dichlorocarbene that is the catch point in this reaction and also Rosenmann's reduction, this Rosenmann reduction, it is the acid chloride is reduced to its corresponding aldehyde when it is treated with H2 in PD poison with barium sulfate and this reaction is known as Rosenmann's reduction and Sandmeyer reaction just like Gatterman reaction you have benzene diazonium chloride is treated with uh, aniline is treated with NaNO2 and HX you are going to get benzene diazonium chloride further treated with CUX it can be Cu2Cl2 and you are going to get a chlorobenzene and this Sandmeyer reaction gives a better yield as compared to the Gatterman reaction and also Stephen reduction cyanides are converted into aldehydes directly when it is treated with SNCl2 and HCl so it is a purely reduction reaction and you are going to get an aldehyde cyanides are converted into aldehyde this reaction is known as Stephen reduction and also Williamson ether synthesis of course the Williamson ether synthesis alkyl halide is treated with sodium alkoxide you are going to get S N2 attack to give rise corresponding ethers so only primary alkyl halides and secondary alkyl halides participate in this Williamson ether synthesis tertiary alkyl halide do not give ether why because it prefers elimination that is a catch point and it is an elimination reaction and you can see wolf kishner reduction just like a clemenson reduction it is a wolf kishner reduction in clemenson reduction zinc amalgam and hcl is used in the wolf kishner reduction nh2 nh2 is used hydrozoic acid is used to give rise corresponding alkane so carbonyls are converted into alkanes by this uh, Wolf Kishner reduction and Clemenson reduction and uh, Clemenson reduction is acid is used as a reagent so acid sensitive functional groups are there you can't use this Clemenson reduction Wolf Kishner reduction is used in the base catalyzed reagent so that any base sensitive uh, groups are there in this aldehyde you can't use it and uh, talking about Wurz reaction the Wurz reaction it is simple when alkyl halide is treated in the sodium metal in the presence of dry ether you are going to get higher alkanes this reaction is known as Wurz reaction you need a dry ether and this follows the free radical mechanism and you also have a Wurz reaction Wurz Fittig reaction and Fittig reaction is a combination of aryl and alkyl combinations 
talking about the hoffman bromamide reaction in the hoffman bromide reaction you are going to get a descending conversions of the carbonyls so when acetamide c H3CO and H2 when it is treated with Br2 and NaOH you are going to remove this CO and it is converted into its corresponding primary amine. Amide is converted into amine with one number carbon less this reaction is known as Hoffman bromamide reaction. In this Hoffman bromamide reaction we use 4 mole of sodium hydroxide. 4 mole of sodium hydroxide that is very important and also it is also called as Hoffman bromamide reaction, Hoffman degradation or Hoffman rearrangement because isocyanate is alkyl group is rearranged to attack. So that there is a rearrangement in this reaction and halophone reaction any methyl ketone containing compound when it is treated with sodium hydroxide you are going to get its corresponding um, carboxylic acid and you are going to see CHBr3 this is what you call it, it is a bromoform it could be iodoform it could be chloroform if it is with iodine with sodium hydroxide it is going to be yellow precipitate of iodoform this is actually a test for methyl ketones and also hell well hard jelinski reaction it's very important for the carboxylic acid when carboxylic acid is treated with halogen in the presence of red phosphorus alpha halogen of the carboxylic group is going to be halogenated so this reaction what you call it as hell well hard jelinski reaction it is said that hvz reaction and it is very important in synthetic chemistry and it is one of the important reactions as far as the carboxylic acid is concerned. And today in a rapid fire we discussed more than 20 organic name mode reactions and you all follow this and make a cheat sheet and go in the examination and write your examination with a lot of confidence. Happy Diwali and please like and share and subscribe this session. Please thank you very much. God bless you.